Hello again. Now we are going to learn how we can create tables and drop them, delete them. Now, to create table, of course, we need to connect to our uh, 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 MySQL server. So we're just I'm I'm connecting using my uh, root uh, account. So let me connect quickly. Now, ah, oh, it's like my password. Let's have a look again. Yes, I'm through. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a new database. Let's create, for example, create, let's say create, what am I doing? Create database, and I'm going to name it, for example, uh, Teams. Yeah? Teams database. Just DB that, DB just to uh, indicate this database. So, create the data, uh, database Teams DB, and then I'm going to use it, so use just to switch to it, so I'm actually inside. Use Teams DB with a semicolon. Always don't don't forget that. Now I'm using Teams DB. So what I want to do now is create a table in there. Now the syntax to create a table in MySQL is as follows. The syntax is like this: create table. These are two uh, keywords in MySQL, and then we give it a table name, and then we just give it structure structure means columns and their types so column name and column types and then a couple of names and column types a list of them separated by comma comma separated list and then after that we can specify uh, other uh, features or facilities as we will see now in my teams database I'd like to create a table and call it teams table yes so I have the code already prepared here I prepared it already so I'm going to uh, create a table and name it Teams table. Yes, and then open my brackets or my parentheses rather, uh, and then give it now my column names and their type. So the first column would be Team ID. It's of type integer. If you remember that, I'm going to tell it not to be null. So not null means that this value must always have a value and if I try to create anything with an empty cell for that uh, MySQL will complain and generate an error it will not accept that so I'm forcing it to always have a value there when I say not null auto increment that means it will start uh, from either 0 or 1 I don't remember now but maybe it's 1 so it will start from 1 and automatically increment so I don't have to specify that value as long as every time I add a record to, to a table it will automatically increment that value by one. The second column would be team name, and it'll be of type varchar. Uh, remember, this is variable length, so I can have up to any uh, string of up to 100 characters. So the length is 100, and not null again. I'm telling it to always must it must always have a value. If I try to add an empty cell for that for team name, it will not accept that and will generate an error. Or an exception. Now the team captain, uh, we'll just give it 40 characters. Vachar again, not null. And then establishment date, when that team was established, you know, when the day create that team, uh, it will be of type date as we explained before. And then I need, I want to specify a primary key. I explained what the primary key is in my previous, uh, 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 in my previous tutorials. I think it's video number two in this series my primary key is team ID notice now team ID is of type int and it's auto increment so it will never be the same it w I will never have uh, two rows or two records in the table with the same team ID why is because it will always automatically increment every time I add a new record to the table so this is what my table will look like yes now here is my uh, statement or here's my MySQL command to do that, create table remember from here, and then the details of the table. So I'll just copy and paste that. And because I'm using this database now, the team DB, that table will be created in that database. I'll just paste it there, hit enter, and it's telling me yes, that table was actually created. If I uh, say, for example, show tables, 
I see that teams table is actually there. Now the other uh, interesting command is what if I want to actually delete, remove that table completely? Well, that's very easy. The syntax to drop and remove a table is drop table table name with a semicolon. So if I want to drop my teams table, I just say drop table teams table. Copy and paste that quickly. And unfortunately, my table is gone. If I again, I'm using my arrows now just to have the history of commands. That's quite useful. Use you, you can use your arrows to have the history of commands. So if I show show, ta show tables, there's no tables, empty set, because I actually dropped it. If I to try to drop it again, it's telling me error because that table is not there. Yeah, right. But I need to create it again so I can play with it again in my next videos. I'll just create it again now. Uh, yeah, create table teams table with those fields and columns, with those values and with those lengths and with the primary key team ID and I'll hit just hit enter and double check that it's actually created drop table, no show tables, yep, yeah, team table is there okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time